Hey guys, welcome to this video. My name is John Watts. I'm a consumer protection lawyer and I, I get a lot of my video ideas from your comments or your direct messages to me, emails to me. And this was a great question that we got in a recent comment. And that is, is it illegal for debt collectors to collect against senior citizens and those who might be disabled? And the answer to that is no, it's not illegal to collect. So we could be 110 years old and Midland Funding, Portfolio, whoever, could still sue us. And if they won, they would get a judgment. Okay? And same thing if we have a disability, maybe an on-the-job injury, maybe we were born with disability, whatever it might be. There's just no flat prohibition against collecting against those who are over a certain age or who have a certain type of disability. But there are two things to consider. And what I have on the screen is, Number one, does a company have a policy? So some companies do have a policy. They say, we will not sue those who are above a certain age or who are disabled. Now, you can find that sort of a formal policy. Okay, maybe that's on their website. Maybe that's some press release that they've done. Maybe they've been hammered by, you know, a state attorney general. And they say, from now on, this is what we're going to do. I'm trying to remember when that's happened. Uh, it, I, I don't remember right now, okay? But I know people have said that to me, and I don't know if it's true or not, but it's something to check out if you're in that situation. And then there can just be sort of an informal policy, okay? So I, I give you an example. So right now, as I'm recording this, January 2021, we're still in the COVID-19 pandemic. And there are a lot of companies that say, we will not garnish and maybe we will not even sue those who are first responders so your doctor your nurse your paramedic firefighter police officer that type of thing they may say if we know that about you we will not sue you now that's not going to be in their sec filings with the government okay but that may just be kind of their informal way of doing things so it never hurts to ask you know if you receive a collection letter collection call and you're in that category of above a certain age or disability or maybe a certain type of profession, you can always ask. I mean, the worst they can say is no. Now, the other way to think about this is, can they garnish your wages? Well, if you're on Social Security, the answer generally is no, they cannot. But there's a couple things. We've got to make sure that it's clear. So they can't just garnish our check but what happens when our check goes into the checking account, the bank account? Well, are all those funds in the bank account, Social Security, either retirement or disability or SSI? Well, if that's the case, then it's all protected. But what if it's kind of mingled in with, you know, your uncle gave you $10,000 or maybe you just recently retired and you had $10,000 in your account and now your social security check goes in there. Well, that's more complicated, okay? So a couple things I would do is you wanna make it clear, okay? Be able to clearly identify the money. And if it's all protected money, sometimes called exempt money, then if somebody's suing you, now let me say this, you can tell the collection lawyer and tell Midland or Capital One or whoever it is, hey, this is all exempt money, but don't just do that. I see people make this mistake. They just go, hey, it's all exempt money, and I'm just telling you that, and I'm not going to respond. Well, they still get a judgment against you. Maybe they can't touch that bank account, but if you have property, they can take your property if that's allowed under state law. So this is something you do in addition to fighting the lawsuit or settling the lawsuit. You want to be very clear that you respond to a lawsuit in time, but you can make it clear to the collection lawyer and to the company, hey, I think this is all protected funds. I don't want you touching this. And then if they do, you may have what's called a wrongful garnishment claim, which can be a very valuable claim. So it depends on how much did the other side know? Is it clear that all of this is exempt money? And they may still do something and then your bank will contact you. So you just want to kind of put everybody on notice, put your bank on notice, put the collection lawyer, put the company suing you on notice. Hey, all I have is exempt money. 
and obviously tell the truth. You know, if, if there's 5,000 exempt and 5,000 that's non-exempt, don't say it's all exempt. Just be truthful about it. So I hope that this is helpful to you. And if you have any uh, questions or ideas, suggestions about this topic, feel free to put those in the comment and I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Okay, have a good one. Bye-bye.